TI Invaders. Okay, I just wanted to say that this is one of the best Space Invader variations I've ever played. When I was a young lad, I had an Atari 2600 with a bunch of neat games, as many of you had. But one of my best friends had a TI-994 a computer. And man, that was a cool beast of a machine for the time. The games were so much better, and you had floppy drives and cartridges to stick in. It was awesome, and amongst the games that we really liked playing was TI Invaders. It played much faster than Space Invaders. You had point totals on the mothership based on how close you hit the dead center. Just feels right to do it that way. And most importantly, and this is the feature which made this game pull so heavily for me on the nostalgia front, is that every two levels you get a new type of alien on the top row. There's only five rows per screen, but every two levels there's a new alien at the top. After they are one row, there'd be two rows of the new guy, and then on the next level, another new alien above that, and so on. So naturally, I love seeing the cool new alien designs more than anything, and I really just wanted to keep playing this to see what was next. I just played it again and again and again. I think I might have gotten to baby about the ninth level back then when, when we were playing as kids, and that's the pulsating head thing, you know, that goes uh, something like that, but it just gets so fast and difficult, and there was no way to save your game. There's no save states or, or, or continues or no emulator back then, so um, it's about as far as we ever got. So I grew up, and this game passed into my childhood memories, but recently I remembered it, saw some video on it, and man, I just I really wanted to see if using an emulator I could finally beat this game, or at least see what was past the ninth level. And then I looked on YouTube, and the best score I'd seen on YouTube, somebody got to level 14, which is was way far in the game. So I'm thinking, is there any way to get further? What happens next? So for the record, I use save states to get this far. I don't profess to be the best TI Invaders player ever. I just wanted to see what happens. So first, the aliens as they appear. On level one, you get what appears to be nothing more than a Space Invaders clone. Five rows of aliens, three types of aliens. And the aliens look just like the Space Invaders. Oh, but then you get to a bonus round. What? Cool, bonus round. You shoot the saucer back and forth, and it gets smaller and further away each time, but the point totals keep going up. But that's sweet. That's a nice little addition. Every bon uh, bonus round after every level. Okay, now at level two, surprise! Two rows of the alien at the top instead of just one. So already, something's different than the Space Invaders. It's not just a clone, folks. Level three. Holy WTF, there's a new type of alien at the top! This is an alien thing walking along. Oh, cool animations. This is sweet! I remember thinking that. So this repeats. Every level, the aliens march downwards, come in waves of two rows for each type of alien. And a bonus round after each level. And every second level, you get a new alien. So, level five. Oh, wow, it's a white worm-like thing now. Inches across the top, slides down towards you, inches across the top. Now I remember thinking, now, I've got to get past these levels and see what the next alien is. This is awesome. Level seven. Dang, we are getting hardcore now. Now we have a green squid-like alien, and they flash on and off. And your bullets pass right through it when he's not on. Arrgh. Level 9. Yes! We made it this far! And the new alien is... The pulsating pink head alien. <laughs> Whatever you would call it. But man, this thing is hard to hit. It shrinks down in size, so it pulsates and it's hard to hit when it shrinks.
right, level 11. Now this is new ground for me since I never had the ability to get this far when I was a kid. And here we're treated to a creature that looks like it's out of the arcade hit Phoenix. It's a bird-like thing. It's flapping its wings as it marches left to right. Dude, this is really cool. And kudos to any of you who got this far on an original system. I mean, truly impressive. This is getting seriously hard. Level 13. Okay, now the claws are out. It's getting nearly impossible. Our new alien is the squid-like dude again, except now, on the third and fourth frames of animation, this, cre this creature no longer even has the two eyes for you to hit. So now, not only is everything speeding up, but we have aliens that are blinking out and impossible to hit half the time. So right here, folks, I mean, this is almost impossible for mere mortals to not only achieve but to win this level. Uh, in fact, uh, the official high score for this game at Twin Galaxies is only 20,949, which suggests probably they didn't even reach level 13, or if they did, they barely survived. So now, this is where I'm really curious, and save states are out in force, believe me. I managed to beat level 13, and as you'd expect, like all the other levels, now you have two rows of the halftime hittable aliens. This is crazy. But with great persistence and strategic save games, I managed to beat level 14. Here's the big reveal, folks. The never, ever before seen alien that begins on level 15. Uh, but to build suspense, you just have to watch me shoot at a saucer ship. <laughs> okay, and... No! Another row of the same freaking alien. This time he's red. OMG, and it alternates flashes with the blue aliens. Oh, on top of that, everything is moving so fast. They march down on the screen before you really even have a fair chance to shoot them all. And this is where I gave up. If the aliens are repeating, I think they just expected nobody to ever achieve this level. I don't even see how it's possible. Ah, but wait, it it stills niggling at me. Is there another alien? I scoured the internet, nothing out there was available on how many aliens exist in this game. If I don't push past this level 15 and of course the 16, and see if there's the next alien at level 17. If I don't do that, I'll always wonder. I mean, those of you who've played this game, haven't you wondered? Don't you still wonder what is the next alien that no one's ever got to before? And actually, if there is even one to begin with? But how the heck are you gonna pass this? This is impossible. Okay, so here's where I employed a new tactic. The magic of 50% speed on MAME emulation. And let me tell you, even with a 50% slowdown, I had to reload again and again, making perfect shots nearly every time, as there's not really enough time to go missing more than uh, just a couple shots on the entire level. And it's so easy to miss. And to spare you the long, gruesome slog and nearly perfect level that you have to achieve, here is the final moment, beating level 16. What is next? I don't care about you, Saucer, anymore. Get going here. Yes! Look at that! It is a new alien! Never before seen! Or maybe it's not an alien, it's just a colon! No, no, wait, it's the eyes from the squid-like creature. The two dots in the middle, the eyes. But this time it's just the eyes. No animation, no special ability, but so hard to hit. You have to be pixel accurate and take out one of their eyeballs to kill them. Wow. See that screen? Doesn't that look like fun? I actually can't believe there's another alien in the mix. UTI programmers, what were you thinking? Nobody has seen this colon alien probably since it was programmed, this game, over 35 years ago. I've never seen this before. I've never seen anyone get here. Now, I mean, look at the screen. This is really impossible. Even with slowdown and save states, I don't, I don't think this is happening. What would you do now? Are you going to stop with me in the ultimate quest to figure out the length of TI Invaders Madness? <laughs> I think not. 
but some new strategies are needed. So, to spare you the details, I was able to beat level 16 with three lives so I could start fresh on level 17. And then I paused the emulator just after the screen started to draw the aliens. Then you can change the level number back in Cheat Engine back to number one. And that lets you play level 17 at the speed of level one. So finally, it's possible once again to beat the level. I beat level 17. Uh, and then I use the same trick to get level 18 working at level 1 speeds. Still got me down to my last freaking guy because that level's hard with those aliens. But here you go, people. I slaved over this for hours, and here is the final reveal of the next alien. Level 19, here we come! Yes! It's repeating. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. That means that's the end of the game. That's level 19 is level 17 repeated. We found it. The end of TI Invaders Madness. No new aliens ad nauseum. I've done it. It's over. So I think the final programming tip of the hat was that if you can beat level 17 and 18, the level indicator might keep going up, but it's just going to repeat level 17 and 18 for you as long as you're alive. And there you have it, folks. The mystery of TI Invaders has finally been revealed after over 35 years. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, everyone.